Check one, pass the page, show three. Action. Welcome back to That's the Reality of It and the segment called Pass the Page is on Fire. I haven't named it yet, but that's, that's we've been on fire, Pass the Page. So he's going to get into the, um, uh, what part of it? The Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost. And what that means to everybody. So, Pastor, take it away. Yeah, uh, for, for Pastor, every saved person, I believe, you have to have the Holy Ghost. Okay. You know, and we see that. And, and like I said, Peter said, then Peter said, then repent, we did that. And be baptized, that every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the mission of your sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, everybody needs the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now we're gonna go over here and to and now uh, Acts the second chapter and then first we're gonna start at the first verse. Okay. Say so, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord, it was all in one place. Mm -hmm. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. Now this stuff is coming from heaven. Okay. Man don't have nothing to do with this. He can't do nothing. Now from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like a fire. And it set upon each of them. Now something happened. He didn't miss nobody, did he? Got everybody. He said it set upon each of them. Mm -hmm. I mean every one of them. Mm -hmm. He set on them. Okay. And listen. And, and they were all filled with the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Now listen. They were all. <coughs> now ain't been no Holy Ghost before. Now we ain't, we ain't talking about no Holy Ghost. Was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues. Other tongues. Now, I mean, you know this too. I don't know you? some other other tongues. And the Spirit gave them other. Now this is how you know you got the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost had been. And this is beginning of the church. Okay. Now the Holy Ghost didn't come to the church. Come and the church didn't come to the Holy Ghost. Come. So it come together. Mm -hmm. So what I was telling you a while ago about being in the church. This is the church. Mm -hmm. You need the Holy Ghost and you in the church. Because there ain't no way to, because Acts 1 and 8 say you shall receive power after that. Mm -hmm. Not when that, but after that, the Holy Ghost is come. And you can't get the Holy Ghost until you're saved. Right? You got it, you got it. You know what, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make a little scenario right quick. You know like your grandmother, your mother used to can? Used to do what? Used to can. Peaches can, can and stuff. Yeah. You must be from the South. Yeah, oh, I am from the South, right. <laughs> we Brown's Beach. We don't can the beer. That's right. <laughs> and, and, and they put them peaches in the jar. Okay. I'm talking about they, they, they save, ain't they? Those peaches are saving in that right. jar. They just put them in there. Right. But, but grandmama or mama will reach over there and get that lead out of that hot water. And that lead got a rubber seal on it. Lead. That lead. Okay. That, that rubber seal, they put it on top of that jar. Okay. Oh, you mean the top? The top. Okay. And then after they put that lead, lead, that lead on there, then they, then they reach back, I mean the seal on there, yeah. then they reach back and get the lead. And screw that lead down on. Now that seal, well, that was sealing. Okay. Now, those peaches is in that jar, but the only thing going to save them is that seal on that jar. The seal. On that lead. That's keep, what. Keep so the, the Holy there. Ghost is what seals you. Got you. That's what keep you because Acts 1 and 8 say you shall receive power. So you need the power of God to fight Satan. Oh, there yeah. ain't no way in the world you can whoop Satan without the power of God. Amen. Because Satan got power. Oh yeah. And, and I tell you one thing and you're going to try to fight Satan without the That's why Jesus told the apostles. He said well, I got to go away. But if they had had the Holy Ghost they would have had no need to go to Jerusalem. Right. But he told them to go to Jerusalem and you wait there you wait there till I come. Mm -hmm. Okay, they went to Jerusalem. And right here is where we went to Jerusalem. They went to the upper room. And and if they had had the Holy Ghost, they would have had not to go. But they went there and they received the Holy Ghost. Even now, the mother of Mary was there. All of them was there. And they received the gift of the Holy Ghost. And when they received it, they speak in tongues. That's the only way they knew that they had it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you something. People say now, listen. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all they were all with one accord in one place. Many times people say, "Well, that was it because they were just in that one place." Mm -hmm. But let me let me show you how smart Jesus is. We can go back to the fifth verse, and they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews and devout men out of every nation mm -hmm. under heaven. So there was devout men out of every nation that was there. So no one could go back to. No nation and say that they didn't know nothing about the Holy Ghost. Right. 
Right. Okay. See, see, but but they say there was all in one place. You had to do it. There was all you in one, one place. place. In one room, but one location. One place. There was all in one place because this, this was a Pentecost. There was a feast. Yeah. Feast going on. There was a lot of people there. Oh, there was okay, people so there from everywhere. Okay. That's right. And so when we told him this, he said, now, and, and, and there was devout men out of every nation mm -hmm. that was there. Wow. Okay. That let the people know that when they go back home, they can take the Holy Ghost with them. With them. Amen. And there ain't no nation that can say that they didn't know nothing about the Holy Ghost. See how smart he is? Let me ask you a question. Next week, we ran out of time on this one. We, we what are we going to talk about next week? Can we find out? Uh, well, well I, 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 can, I can go on a little bit of this, but I don't, I don't, we, we, we can still, we, I, I, I'll end up with this. Okay. But, but we'll talk about uh, what, what happens when a person gets saved. All right. Next week, we're going to finish a little bit of this up, and then we're going to talk about what happens when a person gets saved. What happens when a person gets saved? Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Okay.